Alright, so um, ito ngayon ay uh, nirecord ko na lang ito ngayon uh, yung analysis ko for uh, IRC and uh, GFC so base sa request na nakita ko nabasa ko sa ating group so let's check IRC firstly yung tinitingnan ko is the earnings so, ito yung mabilis ang pag-evaluate kung maganda ba yung performance ng company in the past quarters. So, tingnan nyo lang dito. Sa uh, may E, means earnings. So, as you can see, in the last the first quarter, 401%. That's very good. The annual earning, 2017, uh, negative 68.9%, which is bad. So, the past one year was quite bad. So, quarterly naman, kung third quarter last year, 11%, that's good. This one, 140%, second quarter, and the first quarter is 301%. But, uh, it's very interesting because here, I don't know why it's uh, negative. Kasi kung uh, these are all positive, then might be that the fourth quarter was not good. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, tingnan natin yun dito sa edge. So, IRC. IRC. And then, so we are now on the stock IRC. So, back book value. So you can see the book value of last year is 1.39, but this uh, current year is 1.38. So, medyo nag-degrade yung uh, ano niya, book value, which is not good. But the uh, good thing is that uh, it's not really a big difference. Pati yung EPS, na-reduce then from 0 0.06 naging 0 0.02. So, quarterly, maganda yung quarterly niya. At, uh, ayun. So, uh, so, I think uh, tama yung pinapakita dito ni, ano, ni Edge. Kasi baka sa fourth quarter sila ano, nagkaroon ng uh, negative earnings. Pero, we can confirm that here. So, well, I hope that the investing.com can show the fourth quarter IRC properties. Then, punta ka dito, financial uh, summary. Then, go to quarterly. Then, let's go to the earnings. So, yun nga, tama nga yung uh, sinabi ko. Nagkaroon ng negative earnings in the fourth quarter. Uh, kaya, yung... Uh, uh, ano niya, yung um, annual naging negative but in the first three quarter was quite okay so what about if we go to annual okay so annual so as you can see from this naging this one so yung net income niya malaki yung reduction from 73.82 naging 22.96 cash flow uh, negative so ayun uh, masasabi ko dito since mayroon namang positive uh, quarter earnings uh, in the last year then the, the first quarter was also very good so I can say that this is um, average uh, fundamentally good company so we can do midterm investing for this in this case but from the technical perspective tingnan naman natin yung chart ni IRC <laughs> una muna, it's very important to plot the support and resistance this is uh, hey, I convert this first to line graph so it will be easier for me to plot those uh, pivot points or uh, support or resistance so here as well so this will be my first resistance one. I colorize resistance with red and here as 
So, it's not really an exact science, guys. So, but uh, somehow you should try to find those common points to plot your support and resistance. Also here, you can draw this. As you can see, this, this, and this. So, it is valid. So, I colorize it with red because this is a diagonal resistance. So, ayan, uh, meron pang isa na support which will be here. Ayan, and I colorize it with blue. So, ayan, so, na, na plot na natin yung support and resistance back to the candlesticks. So, ano ba yung sinasaad dito ni uh, IRC in the weekly chart? You can see here na nag-create siya ng higher low. And then rally up, break, nag break out siya dito sa diagonal na, so, na resistance, which is really very good. So IRC was uh, going downtrend from from this point to this point, but now it is trying to cross this uh, 200 day moving average, which is very good. And as you can see here, there is also very large volume that came in for this stock. So very nice. Uh, there was a breakout, a pullback. So during this uh, week, it was very, very volatile. So 21.6 yung inabot. So ayan, uh, guys, uh, try, let's try to convert this to one day chart. Where is the 200 day moving average? Here it is. So right now, the price of uh, IRC is above the 200 day moving average, which means that we have now a bullish bias for this stock. Uh, let's try to plot the EMA 50 and the price is now above the EMA 50 which is very good and we are trading here at this point so what will be my buy zone the buy zone could be this this uh, place here there might be a pullback here and the next is this so, um, this and this as you can see nagkaroon na rin ng pullback dyan kaya we will see whether uh, I hope we hope that uh, there can be another pullback so we can buy at this lower price. So this is buy zone one, and uh, this is buy zone two. So pullback yung possibility yan na uh, tumama ulit dito, but uh, this will be the first uh, point. So ano naman? So take note that this is the main resistance. I will express it with a. I will I will put the broken line so it will be expressed that it's our resistance which is extending to here. <coughs> and uh, let's check the now the the signals. We need momentum for this. In order for this to, to rally higher, we need momentum. At uh, this one, uh, let's uh, eliminate the di minus. And as you can see, the momentum is at 27.98. So ideally, I want that the momentum is reaching 30 and above. Plus this TMI is also uh, 30 above. So we are just very very close. So we really need to keep an eye to this stock. Uh, plus uh, what else? MACD is uh, above zero. This is very good, and as you can see, the trend of the MACD is also going up. Very good. So we are in a very good setup for this. Stochastic is also going to, to is heading for oversold level, which is quite good. Volume, naman volume of as you can see mayroong nagkaroon ng talagang big amount of shares which were dumped on this day which was yesterday and now we had a pullback yesterday to busy one now the price is here so should this uh, stock be uh, for, for safety sake for, for lower risk ito talaga yung magandang price kung saan ka bibili kasi with that price you can put your cut loss here or if you want to have a higher risk appetite your 
or cut, cut loss can be here or, or just below this uh, um, this is this uh, here itong higher lower so pwede mong ilagay dyan or, or here if you want to really uh, minimize your your risk okay so ayan so but uh, for those who wanna get in on this stuff we need to observe so uh, a low a low risk uh, buy zone is here but uh, if you want to swing trade and you want to get in uh, as early as possible you need to check uh, tomorrow how the this irc will open should this be opening uh, above this and uh, making some uh, move upward then it's good to to enter but if it is moving below this then wait till the price goes to buy zone one or if the the sell off will be strong then bz2 will be your next buy zone and if you are buying at bz2 your cut loss will be here so just below all of this uh, build up of uh, candles all right so ayan that is all about irc and what is your target price uh, this will be the first resistance to be tested uh, 1.41 the next will be uh, this one 1.72 so somewhere on that area so ayan so for now that is all about irc